Hi, how are you today? My name is Steve Gersenny. I'm Vice President of the Coach House. And what we want to do today is give you a demonstration of our 261 XL with our new front recliners on board. This coach is 26 feet, 10 inches long, one piece fiberglass shell. It's state of the art. Um, give you a little history about us. We are a family run company. Uh, it was started by my dad and my brother and I now run the company. We are 32 years old and uh, we've been building motorhomes ever since. What's nice about what we do is we are not a conglomerate. Nobody owns us. We're family operated, family run, excellent customer service. Our reputation is flawless in this industry. And um, a lot of it's contributed to the products that we build. We build a very, very high-end small motor home, ranging in sizes from 23 feet to 27. And again, we're 32 years old. So we've been in it a long time. Got a great customer relationship, great um, warranty system across the whole entire United States. So even though we are a factory direct company, a lot of people question us about warranty. Warranty is obtained at any reputable RV service center in North America. And that's something that's really, really cool. But what we want to demonstrate today is our 261XL. Uh, this coach here is state of the art. It's got a lot of state of the art features about it. And um, I think our goal has always been to provide our customers with a coach that will last as long as this chassis is riding down the road. Great warranties, et cetera. Well, it's a beautiful vehicle. But to start, what we do is we build on the Ford E450. It's a Triton V10 engine, and it's got a six-speed automatic transmission on board. The coaches are, the chassis, rather, is loaded with options. It has um, uh, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, all of which we'll get involved with in a few minutes. But it's a beautiful vehicle, as you can see. Uh, we build on two wheelbases. We have a 158-inch wheelbase on our shorter coaches and a 176-inch wheelbase on our longer coaches. But I wanted to kind of start from the, begin the front up here and kind of walk our way around the vehicle and show you how, how these things are built. This coach actually has Alcoa rims on it. It is sold. Uh, customer requested Alcoa rims, really beautiful rims. Going back, we have heated power mirrors, which are very, very nice. They extend beyond the eight foot width of the coach. Um, they're powered, they're heated, and at the bottom there's an elliptical mirror, so it helps with your blind spot monitoring when you're driving down the road. Um, another nice feature we like to point out is when you open up your doors, you get courtesy lights that turn on. We have a real wide step here for the running board, um, so you can see in the dark when you come back from your campground or from the campsite and you want to come back in the coach, you can see where it is you're stepping, which makes it very nice. Big solid side entry door here. It's got a screen built into it. Uh, you can close the screen off if you want to. Um, very, very heavy duty. We find a lot of problems in the RV industry related to side entry doors. You get a lot of air leaks um, and problems like that. But listen to this. I mean, it's like a vault when this thing closes. Very, very, very solid. Um, open it back up because there's a couple other features I want to show. We have courtesy lights and porch light with lighted grab bars. So again, at nighttime, if you come back from, from wherever you may be, you can leave your coach lit up so it's nice and bright when you get, get, get back from, from dinner or what have you. Um, very nice, there's a lighted grab bar on the inside as well. Working our way back, um, we have a remote LP fill station. And what's nice about the fill station here, it's a 68 pound propane tank that is actually put on the inside of the frame rail of the chassis. So in the event you are into a side impact collision or anything like that, the propane tank in this coach is very, very, very well protected. Remote fill. We have a 30,000 BTU LPG furnace on board, a 15,000 BTU Dometic air conditioner on board. You have two sources of heat. You have an electric heat pump built into the air conditioner and your 30,000 LPG furnace as well. So if it gets super cold at night, you can turn on your furnace. Most of the time we find that the Dometic heat pump will keep you adequately, adequately warm. Working on back, we have these little outlets on the outside. Most of your camping is done on the passenger side of the coach. Uh, this has an HDMI cable as, as well as regular cable connection. So if you take your television, bring it outside on your picnic table or what have you, you have a nice little entertainment center. 210 volt power cords below it. 
Um, propane fill for a grill. If you decide to hook up a grill on the side of the coach, we also provide a propane outlet for that. It's on a quick release disconnect. And what's nice here too is all of our, all of our storage compartments are put below what we call this, this, this body line. And we feel that they're in a really good, safe location. Um, people cannot break into your coach. What I often tell people is, I'm in the RV industry, I have about five keys, and I can get into just about any RV that's out there. So a lot of people secure their front ends, everything's secure, but people break into your vehicles through your outside storage compartments. Here, they can't get above the floor. So it really is a nice feature. Um, dual batteries. We have two six-volt Lifeline batteries. These are 220 amp hour batteries. They're charged multiple ways. This vehicle has a 160 watt solar charger on board, which puts battery or puts power back into the batteries. We have an alternator that charges the batteries, and we also have a converter that charges the batteries. So there's three different ways on this particular coach that the system can be charged. Our storage containers are all fiberglass. We do not use aluminum, we do not use metal, we use fiberglass. They won't rot, they won't rust, and they'll last basically forever. Continuing on back, Michelin tires are standard on all of our Ford products. Uh, you have dual rear wheels in the back. This vehicle has a 14,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating and a combined weight rating, meaning what you can bring and tow, of 22,000 pounds. So it really is a remarkable little coach, gas-driven engine, and been around for decades as far as the drivetrain. Really, really a nice vehicle. But we put what they call the dual valve system for filling. You can fill your outside tire as well as the inside tire. Makes life a lot easier. You don't have to try to get in there and figure out how you're going to fill the inside tire. We provide that access for you. Uh, working on back, another storage container back here. Again, all fiberglass, lit. Um, they've got these little lights in them, LED lights all the way across. So no matter where you put your um, um, equipment or supplies back here, you'll be able to see them throughout the entire compartment. It's not just a light bulb. It's a strip that goes all the way across the opening of, this, of the storage container. Potable water fill. This is our potable water fill station uh, to fill up your freshwater tank. One of the coolest features about Coach House is our freshwater system. The lines, the tank, the pump are all put above the floor of the coach, meaning we have a 365-day, four-seasoned coach here. Um, a lot of our competitors and people that build coaches, some portion of their freshwater system is outside the coach, therefore you can't use it in the winter time. We're very proud of the fact that all of our plumbing, freshwater wise, is inside the coach. If you keep this coach above 32 degrees, you should have no problem in camping. And you can do that very easily. So it is a nice feature with Coach House, all interior freshwater plumbing. Jealousy style windows. These are really nice. Some manufacturers use what they call a T-slider that opens this way. Our windows are jealousy, so they crank out. And what's nice about this, we're very pet friendly. If you have a, a um, dog or cat or some, something, some animal inside the coach, what's nice is we provide two fantastic roof vents that are rain censored. They're on the roof of this vehicle. And what happens is if you are out and about and it should rain, those, ra those rain censored um, fans will automatically close, but the jealousy windows are still open. And so your pets are still going to get ventilation, cross ventilation while you're gone. But having jealousy style windows, inclement weather, you don't have to worry about the inclement weather bothering your coach. Really a nice feature. Um, also, from a safety standpoint on these windows, um, it's much harder to break in. Sure, you can take a hammer and break them, but on a T-slider window, you're just inviting people to get into your coach, which we don't particularly like. Um, another nice thing is on the roof of this coach, um, we have, this coach is sold, and we, all, we have a um, satellite system, and we are capable of using either DISH or Direct TV. It is an option. Um, the air conditioner is behind that, and then we have a high-definition antenna. So what's cool is these antennas now are digital, 
So when you turn your television on on the inside, you run through a programming, program your TV wherever you may be, and you'll get all the odd stations. But they all come in in high definition. So the digital high definition and te TV antennas are really super cool. Um, another thing, awning. This is a 10-foot box awning, Dometic, legless. Um, awesome, awesome piece of equipment. It has a rain or has a motion sensor built into it. In the event that this um, awning should start, sh you know, shaking in the wind or what have you, it will automatically retract. Now I'm going to stop it here, so I can s so you can see me. But I've got a remote control. And we also have lights here. And um, the lights that we put on, it's a whole strip of LEDs all the way across, hard to see from that angle. But the lights are on the coach side. So when you're camping at nighttime, the light's going to reflect down away from your vehicle. So if you, see, if, if you should look out your window and you see anybody walking around, it gives you good visibility. It's on a dimmer, so you can dim them or brighten them however you want. Where most of our manufacturers, or our competitors rather, We'll put them on this leading edge of the awning. And what we find by putting it on the leading edge of the awning is the light is reflecting back at the coach. So you have a black spot from here and beyond where you can't see if anybody's out there, you know, around your campsite or whatever the case may be. So it really is a nice feature to have the lights on the inside versus the outside of the awning. I'm going to run it back in real quick here. What we're going to do is we're going to continue a walkthrough, but we're going to walk around the coach. Uh, Ford is very innovative as far as all of the features that we put on the chassis. Uh, one of the nice features with us as a manufacturer, we are what they call a QVM with Ford. And that's a quality vehicle manufacturer. There's a lot we have to go through to maintain that status. We build on Mercedes as well, and we're called a master upfitter with Mercedes. That's their nomenclature. But when we order our chassis, we order these things with every conceivable option except one, and that being the radios. We're using Pioneer decks. We like the Pioneer decks because we can get into that, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but we get XM radio availability, AM, FM, backup camera. It really is a super system, and by running it throughout our whole product line, it makes it a lot easier for us to explain and train our customers that take, that take possession of them. So, but the Ford has a lot to offer on board as far as um, uh, drivability. Um, we also use, with this vehicle, we have a more ride suspension system on the back end, which really helps stabilize the ride when you're going down the road. Uh, more ride just keeps the harshness out of the ride and um, is approved by Ford. So as far as warranty, anything like, anything like that, it's still covered under a Ford factory warranty. But we'll take a tour around the entire coach and um, I'll show you some other features. As we walk around the back of the coach, what we like to point out is how sleek and aerodynamic everything is. We build a one-piece molded fiberglass body that is reinforced with carbon fiber. There is nobody else in the industry that does this. The whole thing is seamless. There's no leaks, no squeaks, no rattles. This body and design will last as long as this vehicle's driving down the road. Really an awesome feature. I wanted to point out some things in the back here. We're using LED taillights, marker lights. These are all LED, which is nice. Uh, we have a 22,000 pound combined weight rated motorhome. And we put a class three hitch on. And what's nice about that is you can tow just about anything with this vehicle. Uh, the hitch is rated well over its capacity, and uh, many of our customers do choose to drive a, or tow a car with them if they choose, or a boat or a trailer or whatever they want. Um, these coaches are so versatile that you don't have to be on the mainstream interstates. Um, a lot of our customers like going on, off into the rural roads, into the beautiful little cities we have here in the country. And this, this size vehicle is just perfect for that. Um, we have a nice spare tire back here as well, uh, behind this little uh, fiberglass um, container. And that houses everything. You have the wrench, you have the jacks, um, the tires there. It's a regular Michelin, full size. We don't provide spare tires with all of our coaches, but the majority of them we do. All of our motor homes come standard with a color backup monitor. That enables you to see everything that's going on behind your vehicle, which is very nice. Another nice feature is a sewer hose carrier that we provide. It goes all the way across the bumper. 
So you can put as big a sewer hose in here as you would like. Now we're on the driver's side of the coach, and what's really cool about Coach House is this is where all of your activity takes place. In other words, all your hookup stations and so forth when you're camping are all going to be on the driver's side. We've put our slide outs on the driver's side too so that they're not impeding your campsite like you would be camping on the passenger side of the coach. So the driver's side is a great place to have a slide out. And what we like about our slide outs is they are all controlled by HWH, which is a hydraulics company. We do not use electric slide outs here. You're going to find the same mechanisms in our slide outs that you're going to find in any high end motor home. What's nice about the hydraulics is they have a very low failure rate. Anything electric is much less expensive, thus more prone to problems. So we really like what we've done here with our slide outs. But to, but to continue down the side of the, of the driver's side here, I wanted to point out we have some more storage compartments here. And uh, again, all fiberglass, they're lit. Uh, we use these compression locks, which are nice too, because it prevents water intrusion into your storage containers. Real nice bulb seal all the way around. So this is a nice feature um, as far as the locks are concerned. Generator. What we use on our Fords is a 4.0 gasoline driven generator. It's four kilowatts of power, puts out a lot, ample supply of power for the vehicle, and that actually feeds off your main fuel tank. We have a 55 gallon fuel tank on board and this generator burns about a half a gallon an hour under load. So it's a very, very low fuel burn on the generator, which is nice. Again, dual rear wheels. Uh, this is access to your um, uh, gasoline tank, your 55 gallon tank. We have another little storage container here, again, made out of fiberglass, an auxiliary shower. And back here is what we call our central utility compartment. And depending on the model, depending on the layout. This is where all your hookups are going to be. Again, they're put behind a door, so it's nice, nice and clean, and it makes the appearance of the coach look so much better. Uh, we have a little courtesy light here, cable television, city water connection, and as I mentioned before, there is a way to fill your fresh water tank off your city water connection. And there's a little valve here. You turn the little valve and it will fill up your fresh water tank while you're connected up to your water line. Uh, black water flush. Um, our black water flush systems are also really nice to help cleanse your black water tank. And we have a single discharge. Both gray and black water come out one discharge. These are gravity fed. We do not like using mancerator systems. The problem with mancerator systems, if they fail, you have full holding tanks. Uh, here it's all gravity fed, virtually no way to fail. Um, so it is a beautiful coach, and we point out our paint jobs. This coach here is what we call our shadow, and shadow is a two-tone gray. Uh, it's a basic paint job. We do not charge for it, uh, and we have two levels above this. We do a deluxe, and we do a premiere. A lot of people like the simplicity of our basic paint jobs. These are all BASF products. We use a very exclusive, I'll call it clear coat process, and then we cut and buff them. Nice shine. It's a beautiful, beautiful coach. And a lot of our people really do love our paint jobs. Full body. The whole coach is painted, the whole top included, as you can see. Um, our awning, our, our slide rooms, I do want to demonstrate. We have awnings on top of them. The awnings on top of the slide out, the nice feature about the awning, it keeps the debris, the rain, and any potential for problems off the coach. So what I want to do is demonstrate the slide out. As I said, what's nice about our slide outs is they are all hydraulically driven. Um, it's an, we use HWH components. They're nationally recognized, nationally serviced. And you can see by the operation of the slide out how smooth it is. Extremely reliable. We also use the same system for our four point hydraulic leveling system. It's an automatic leveling system. Four jacks come down and support the coach on four perch points so that the coach is very level when you're camping. We're now in the driver's compartment of the Ford and all of them are pretty much set up the same but we do order everything possible on these chassis with the exception of the radio. 
Um, the leather that we use is an optimal leather. It's a, it's a leather that is rated by what they call double rubs. And they actually have a machine that'll come down and double rub these, the, the, this material until it breaks through. And then they have a calculator on it. And our fabrics are rated in the neighborhood of 300,000 double rubs. It depends on which ones we're talking about. But this is a real nice, sturdy, um, manufactured leather. It's not real leather. It's a synthetic leather. It's the same thing that your Lexuses and your high-end Mercedes and, play, and any of your cars use now. They don't really get into too many leathers anymore. It's more of a, a manufactured leather. But back over to the chassis again, we order our chassis in with power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt steering wheel, um, tow haul mode. Now for 17 and 18, we're putting in the trailer adapter so that you have a seven pin connection on the back. So if you're towing anything with electric brakes, you're already set up for it, which is nice. Uh, AC system, um, it's got all of your controls very ergonomically correct. They're very close to the driver so that, he's, so that um, you can manipulate any of the settings that you would want to do. Here's our Pioneer deck. Um, the Pioneer deck, again, is available with AM, FM. It has a CD player in it. It acts as your backup camera and uh, also is pre-wired for XM Sirius radio. You've got to be careful in the RV industry. Some radios don't come with XM. And this is a very high-end deck, and we really like the Pioneer systems. But there's little, you know, you've got your cigarette plug connections for your, for your phone chargers things like that. There's two of them up here. Nice storage area here for your cup holders and so forth. It has a glove box in the, in the, on the passenger side, which is really nice. And Coach House actually cuts out this section of the roof so that you get in and out. You have better ingress, egress getting in and out of the driver's compartment. And we actually reinforce this whole area so in the event of a rollover or anything of that, you have got steel that's protecting you all the way around the perimeter. We're probably one of the only companies to do it, but it's a really safe, strong compartment. Uh, we have a privacy curtain. The privacy curtain just wraps real simply all the way around, so at nighttime you can shade off all of your windows and um, keep yourself private, which is nice. Now, the driver and passenger seats are kind of unique in this vehicle. On the Fords, the passenger seat swivels 180 degrees, which gives you more living area. And the driver's seat is six-way power. So that's nice. It's in a fixed position, and who's ever driving can get their seat nice and comfortable while they're driving. Makes it nice. Now, starting down this side of the coach, it's on the driver's side of the coach, we want to point out some really neat features. Some of the features that we offer in our coach is a wonderful under, lamb, or under plywood. What we use on our cabinets is called light ply and it's a carb-2 rated plywood. What's nice about light ply, it's very low in emission content with formaldehyde. So when you walk into a coach house, platinum, you're not, your eyes aren't going to water, your throat's not going to burn. It really is a nice product to use. I'm assuming eventually a lot of manufacturers will be into it. But it's very expensive. And, uh, but it's a nice product. We do a Formica overlay on top of the product and then all of our doors are hardwood raised panel doors. We have two different colors. We have a honey maple and we do the, which is this and we do a lakeside cherry which is a little bit darker and all of our cabinets are finished off on the interiors. We do not build L's. In our industry majority of what you see is an L cabinet. It's slapped right up against the side of the wall, and if there's wallpaper, whatever the finish is below, the same finish is in, up in your cabinets. We do not do that. We build a regular cabinet like you would build in a residential environment. All recessed European hinges. These are six-way adjustable, so that your cabinetry is always going to fit and look nice. It's not going to be out of kelter where one door is leaning to the other, you know, leaning one way or the other. We use these beautiful metal drawer stays, so when the doors open, the stay is lifetime guarantee. They always, they, they will stay open for you. We use these posi catch latches, so all of our doors are capable of being locked. It's really, really nice. I mean, you push the button and your doors all lock. Um, other nice features, we have a ducted air conditioning system. Again, 15,000 BTU Dometic air conditioner ducted 
And it's nice because you can take these and point wherever you want to point them so that the air's not blowing directly in your face. Um, coming up here behind the driver's seat and working our way back, this coach is equipped with our recliners. And these recliners have two beautiful tables that you can swivel out of the way. You can put them back in place. Very, very nice. And this is like residential furniture. Just by the push of a button, you have a beautiful recliner on both slides that you can lay down in, essentially. Watch TV, uh, have a cold drink, whatever you want. They're really, really nice. It's a really, really nice piece of furniture. We're really proud of this. So I'll put it back, put it back away here. Um, but the tables are nice. You can take them out. You can mess with the tables if you want. All LED lighting throughout, throughout the ceiling as well. And we have these on a rheostat. So you can take care of your lighting by raising and lowering the rheostat, which makes it really nice. The recliners are a really nice feature, but we do offer two other options in our slide rooms. It makes it very, very versatile. This is called our recliner twin. And again, we're in a 261 XL, 26 feet, one slide out recliner twin is the way we do our nomenclature. As you move back here into the bedroom area, what you're going to find is two beautiful twin beds. They're great. They're, they're, they're 75 inches long. They're 36 inches wide, extremely comfortable. And we also talked about storage. Remember we talked a little bit earlier about how Coach House has designed their motor homes to put as much storage on the inside. Well, look at this. You've got four great big drawers that pull out on both sides. I mean, they're beautiful drawers underneath your twin beds. You can see how big they are. You know, full drawer slides on them. So it, re it really does make up a difference to have storage inside the vehicle than outside. Again, as an RV sales guy or an RV person, I got, I've got master keys to just about all the locks. And so does everybody else out there. So it's nice to have your secured possessions inside the vehicle and not outside the vehicle. If you notice, we've got overhead storage as well above the both twin beds. We have a nice shirt closet here. And we have a pantry on the other side. But moving in the back, we have a beautiful bathroom. This bathroom is huge. It's one of the largest bathrooms you're going to find in a small motorhome of this size. We have a great big stand-up shower. Um, which is nice. It's all made out of fiberglass. It's not made out of plastic, which is really a neat feature. We've got these, uh, these, um, these, the head of the shower that is adjustable. You can take it with you. You can turn it on, turn it off. Really nice feature as well in that. You got towel racks, towel holders in there. You got a nice linen closet. Working forward on the passenger side of the coach, again, another nice twin bed, but we also use these MCD shades. These are really nice shades. You pull them down, and you can see out, but it blocks the sun. And then there's another shade for, for nighttime that blocks, you know, it keeps your coach very, very private. Again, storage on both sides. Again, everything's finished off. This, again, this coach is sold, but we do certain things for customers. We had a customer request this. It's a nice pull-out pantry instead of a shirt closet. They felt they had enough storage in the back bathroom, so we built them this this uh, real nice pantry is what they're going to use it for. And I like to say to people, we are not a custom coach builder, but we'll do certain little modifications. We have installed USB plugs all over the place as well, in, in conjunction with our 110 volt outlets, which makes it convenient, again, to charge your tablets or your cell phones or whatever you could charge with a USB B port. Um, Televisions, we got front and rear televisions. This is a television for the bedroom. It's on a swing arm. It'll come out so both people can watch it conveniently. And as we move forward, again, a dimmer switch for our, for our lights above, which is cool. We use in our Ford products a hot water heater that is 110 volt engine assisted. It's inside the coach as well. Again, we talked about that all weather plumbing. But this is a really nice feature. While you're driving down the road, you've got six gallons of hot water all the time. When you stop, flip the switch on, you've converted it over to 110 volt. Makes it very, very simple. This coach is a 30 amp service, um, which is a nice service. It's not 50 amp. 30 amp is adequate. You can pull in any campground. They have 30 amp service. It's on a converter. The converter also has a charger built into it so that you're capable of charging your auxiliary batteries, which is nice. Again, we talked about the generator. That also goes through the converter, charges your batteries. So we've got a complete system. 
In addition to that, we put 1,000 watt inverters in all of our coaches. Now, why 1,000? You saw the batteries. We have 220 amp hours of batteries. And what we want to do is just power the outlets. There's not enough battery power to try to power up a microwave convection oven. So what we've done is added just enough power, 1,000 watts, that will suffice and run anything that you want to run inside this coach for a long period of time. This is a Dometic three-way refrigerator. It's a six cubic foot refrigerator, which is really, really nice. What we find in the industry, if you go any bigger than this refrigerator, you're going to be forced into a two-way, which is generally AC LP gas. We like this refrigerator because it's six cubic foot and it runs three-way. It runs on LP gas, DC, which is 12 volt, and 110 volt. But it's got a nice big freezer in it. You can see the size of the freezer. It's really, really nice. Below is the refrigerator, which is nice. We do build it up off the floor, so getting your items down at the bottom makes life a lot easier. But this also has an automatic setting on it so that it will choose the, the, the most convenient source of power by itself. Now, next to the refrigerator, we've got this real nice um, convection microwave oven. We use a lot of brushed nickel look in our product, which we like. Um, below that, we have a two burner uh, stove. This is also a Dometic, which is nice. So Dometic, again, being a, a predominant partner with us, service makes service much easier. Nice stainless steel sink. Um, it has a nice pull out on the um, kitchen faucet, which is nice. So you can wash things with much easier. Nice three, there's big drawers here. There's three nice drawers. Look yeah, how deep those are, really nice drawers. And then here we have a storage compartment for maybe pots and pans or dishes or whatever else you want to put in there. And again, everything is designed properly. We don't, we're not a big fan of radius cabinets. And a lot of people, some people ask, why not? Um, I think the reason is storage. Whenever you add a radius to a cabinet, you're losing storage. So if you radius your uppers and you radius your galleys, you're losing valuable storage in a smaller motorhome. We feel the way we've designed this is properly engineered and properly designed. We're going to now show you the front of the vehicle. We've gone through the galley and now we're moving up into the front. We call this area our tower of power. And what essentially this is, is all of your controls. Just like we try to keep the exterior clean, we try to keep the interior clutter free. So it's really nice to have this here. It's slide room, automatic leveling system, your tank monitors. This one has an auto gen start system on board. And so it's really a nice feature. You can close it, you can lock it, you can kind of make it disappear so you don't have to look at it. We have a nice 32 inch TV. All of our TVs in these coaches are smart TVs. So if you have internet connection, you can watch your Netflix and do things that you normally can't do with a regular TV. Again, this coach has satellite on board. It's sold, and uh, they've chosen Dish Network. So this is what we're using as a, as a receiver for Dish. But this little area gives us a nice place to put all of our electronics. We've got a Blu-ray DVD player and, the, of course, the Dish receiver. So, again, from Coach House's standpoint, these coaches are 100% complete. Uh, we have a very, very short list of options, which is nice. And, again, service. I can't stress it enough, we can service these vehicles anywhere in the country. And as we tell people, our goal when we build these is to keep you on the road. Our goal is not to let you go visit the service departments. So we try to use name brand appliances, industry specific, so that if you have any problems whatsoever, Dometic is a big partner with us. We use a lot of Dometic product and um, therefore you pull into a service center, they all know what Dometic is. We have very, very, very few failures on the conversion, on our construction, on our plumbing, on our electrical. Uh, you buy a coach house and you're going to get a complete plumbing and wiring schematic so you know where everything is run. We not, only, we not only color coordinate the wiring, but we label it every 8 to 10 inches on exactly where that piece of wire is going. It makes your life so much easier in the industry. Again, we build a high-end coach. These are beautiful products. We don't cut corners anywhere. Now, what we were talking about inside the coach a few minutes ago was the versatility of our slide rooms. And we've got three choices in our slides, in any of them, whether it be a Ford or whether it be a uh, Mercedes-Benz. We've got versatility. 
This is what we call our power sofa. And this sofa is really cool. It slides forward first and then it lays down. And what it basically does, these are mock-ups, we've got them in our showroom here, is it gives you the ability to sleep that extra person, or two people, rather, either way. Um, but these go in, in, this, in the front slide rooms. So it's really a neat feature, it's a power sofa. The next item that we have is um, our, our dinettes. And if you notice the different colors, that's cream, this is gray, and our dinettes are a little bit different in that they're all steel reinforced seats. They actually jackknife down to make the bed. You remove the table, the table slides underneath, and both of these come together to make a bed. So people like dinettes. Uh, dinette is a, a function of an RV that's been around for a long time. But this is in our gray, and again, these are just wood mock-up displays we have in our showroom. And then the last one was the one that we just showed you, which is the power recliners. And the power recliners are really nice. Um, again, you have three different options on those slide rooms. Colors, uh, this is done in our camel. So we basically have three different colors that you can choose from. We have our camel interior, we have our cream interior, and we have our gray interior. So the colors are very, very nice. And again, two cabinet colors go along with this. We do the honey maple that we showed you, or the lakeside cherry, which is a darker cherry wood. What we want to do is take you on a on a test drive and we're going to kind of show you as best we can through video here on how these things drive and operate. Now we're on a test drive. We've just started. We're getting on 75. The speed limit's 70, so let me catch up here and get going. I'm doing 65 right now. Doing 70. Beautiful. No hands. Look, Mom, but don't try that at home. It's not good for you. But the coach is super quiet. I can carry on a conversation with my video guy here that's shooting videos for us, good Sam. That's right, sure <laughs> And the coach is nice and quiet driving down the road. It's very easy to handle. If you can drive a car, you can drive this RV. And that makes a big difference between this and a Class A motorhome or any other type of motorhome. The fact that these are so nimble, you can go down the road and it's just, they're simple. They're, I'm not stressed out. There's trucks passing, there's cars passing, or you can pass them if you want to go faster really is a nice, comfortable drive. And that's what we're after. We're after people to be happy with what they do. We want people to be happy with their purchase. They want, we want them to be happy with us. And um, we just love it. We think Coach House is the greatest thing in the world. So sit back and relax and we'll just keep driving. Such a beautiful day in Southwest Florida, building motorhomes down here, enjoying the beach and the beautiful ocean. It just doesn't get any better than this.